Hello and welcome to Infinity. In our exploring of the new features in Affinity Photo 2.1, we're going to look now at the Photo Crop Tool improvements. The number of changes have been made there, and so this will probably take up the whole video because I'm keeping them to short slices. So let's go here, and first of all, I'm going to go to the Selection Brush. I'm going to paint over here just to select a bit like that front of the building there. And now if I go to the crop tool, it goes straight to this here, which is kind of useful if you're doing this. If you don't want that, then all you need to do is either hit the reset up there or hit the escape key. Both have the same effect and you end up going back out to here. Secondly now is if I want to bring this in, so I've got a proportional amount. If I got here, this is unconstrained. I can just move this around as I like. But if I want to keep it in an equal amount as I shrink inwards, then let's go back to the outside again. There we go, just with an undo. And I hold down the shift key and I drag inwards now. And now I'm getting it proportionally cut in to that original size. Notice the aspect ratio of this does change. You're not maintaining the aspect ratio, but what you're doing here is cutting an equal amount from the outside. This makes sense because if I hold down the control key, I go from the center. So if I want to cut at like an equal border here, so notice here around the outside, the size of the border is the same all the way around. So this is holding down control and shift. If I take my finger off the shift key, now the control key just constrains it to the center. Here's something also, a, a bit of a trap that can happen. And I know, don't know, this may be a bug. If I apply this now, then I've got this here, but I still got this little bit here selected. So if I go back to the crop tool, Look, the crop has gone back to that original piece here. It's lost that original crop that I had just now. So that's something to watch out for. If you want to avoid this happening, see I hit escape key there and it's gone back up to this one I hear. So it's not lost. So you can get back to within escape. And if I hit reset up here, then it's doing the same. It's gone back out here. I can't get to the whole outside one. But what if I do want to get to the outside one here? The way to do that is just to go all the way out, go all the way out here. So I'm going beyond it. Now, if I apply the crop, I've actually expanded the canvas. So that the picture is actually this big here. And now I want to crop into this again. So I go to document, clip canvas. And now I've got back to the same here. But notice here, even with this, the selection now has changed position. So by and large, after you use a selection, either go to select and deselect there or hit control D and that will get rid of it. And it'll stop that conflict between do I use the crop or do I go to the selection piece? Something else is if I do a crop here, as so I do a little crop to show it, and I click apply now, Notice it's not zoomed out. So if I wanted to zoom into that, I hit control zero. It's just one keystroke, but it keeps it where it was on the picture. So that kind of is, is a little bit helpful. Control Z just to undo that. And uh, last one here is if I do the crop tool here and I crop this into something like this. If I want to rotate this now, if I rotate here, Notice the, rotate, the size of the crop box is changing so that it stays within the picture itself. So I'm not going outside the picture itself, which you may or may not want. If you want to can rotate this, you might want to, if you want to avoid this, you might want to rotate the picture first of all. So there we go, that's that. Anyway, that's about, probably about enough for now. Otherwise, I'll just go over the five minutes, which I try to keep these down to see so you're not sort of like drag through lots of things. That's enough for now. So thank you very much for watching.